Good morning everyone, happy Monday, Coach Kelman here with your day 33 of your whole workouts. So today's focus is all about upper body stability and a mini tornado. So grab yourself a towel or mat, a chair or stool or something to stand on and two light weights or objects to use. So let's use that awesome energy you got on this Monday morning and blast this Monday workout. Don't forget to tag us in your videos and selfish hashtagging I can, I will. Have an awesome start to your week and have an awesome Monday and I'll see you soon. Time for your dynamic warm up. This block is gonna be five minutes of work with five exercises. All you're gonna need is a yoga mat for this one. Ready to get to work, D? Let's get warmed up. All right, we're gonna start with one minute of a cobra swing. You're gonna lay down flat on your mat. You're gonna start with your feet about hip width apart, those toes anchored to the ground. As you can see, D is placing her hands on the small of her back, shoulders nice and tall. You're gonna raise that chest off the ground, full extension with the arms to reach out in front of you, back to the small of your back. This is gonna work your shoulders as well as your lower back and core. Options here, you can always reduce your range of motion. Next up, we've got 30 seconds per side of a T-spine rotation. D has her hands stacked underneath her shoulders, knees stacked underneath the hips. Placing one hand behind the ear, elbow nice and wide, we're gonna rotate at the midsection, trying to make contact with that planted hand. You've got 30 seconds per side. An option here, you can reduce your range of motion. Next up, we're gonna warm up those ankles and hamstrings, crossing our right foot over the left, pressing through the ball of the left foot to raise the glutes into the air, elongating that hamstring, bringing that knee back down to the ground. Option here, you can always reduce your range of motion. You've got 30 seconds per side. Next up, 30 seconds per side of an iso hold plank bird dog. For this, you're gonna extend your right arm out, left leg back, drawing your belly button to spine, squeezing your glutes to keep that core engaged. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds per side. An option here, use your own personal range of motion. Last but not least, you have one minute of a bare plank alternating shoulder tap. We're gonna press through the balls of our feet, raising our knees just off the ground enough, belly button to spine to engage the core. Nice, slow, and steady, bringing that hand to your opposite shoulder. Option here, you can always drop your knees down to the ground, but make sure to keep that belly button drawn to your spine. You've got five minutes of work, let's get warmed up. Baby, shake it, I wanna take it, and I'm all over you. Drinking, smoking, everybody move. It's on, baby, go eat, go crazy, everybody hit the floor. We on an adventure, maybe we'll get so hazy till the morning shows the light. Now I can get enough, you know I hold it down. The music's steady, play and listen to the sound. And I'ma drop a couple stacks, do it like that when I come around. So just wait. Baby, shake it, I wanna take it, and I'm all over you. Drinking, smoking, everybody move. It's on, baby, go eat, go crazy, everybody hit the floor. We on an adventure, maybe we'll get so hazy till the morning shows the light. Now I can get enough, you know I hold it down. The music's steady, play and listen to the sound. And I'ma drop a couple stacks, do it like that when I come around. So just read.
Getting closer to your body. I wanna get the party started. And we're dancing till the morning comes. Yeah, tonight we're getting wasted. We'll engage in conversations. Cause we only wanna have some fun. You said to catch that rhythm. focus on your shoulders and your core for the next eight minutes. We're going to have four different exercises that we're going to continue to repeat until time is called. Let's shoot for a minimum of two rounds. Now for this block, we are going to be kneeling. So make sure that you have a padded surface under your knees. Could be that towel or yoga mat like we've got. And you will need two objects that weigh roughly the same amount. We decided to grab our cans of beans out of the cover this morning. But if you've got something that weighs roughly eight to 12 pounds, that would be great for this block. Let's get started with our first exercise. It. It's what's called a half get up. Now there are four different parts to this movement that you wanna think about as you're working through it. Start by laying flat on the ground. You're gonna slide your heel into your glute. Whatever hand has one object, that's the knee that's bent. Your opposite leg is out straight. Now, think about a punch and crunch to get started. Stack that can of beans directly over your shoulder. Your opposite arm is out at a 45 degree angle. And as you watch John, he's gonna punch towards the ceiling, landing on that elbow first, and then continuing all the way up to the palm of his hand, still that straight line down to that shoulder. Roll your way down nice and slow. So find your elbow first and then roll one vertebrae at a time. Punch and crunch up to that palm and then elbow and roll back down. Your option, get rid of that can of beans and simply work through body weight only. You've got 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Your second exercise is called a half kneeling around the world. Grab both of those objects, one in each hand, then we're gonna get into that half kneeling position. Front knee directly over top of that ankle, feet are still hip width apart, and then from here, you're gonna draw a half circle with both of those arms, meeting those objects together at the top, and then returning back down to those hips. So full range of motion with those shoulders. Your option here, you reduce your range of motion if you need to, and you can always lighten up the objects that are in your hands. Feel free to do it body weight as well. Six on one side, then switch those legs, six on the other. Your next exercise, back to that core work, we've got our bare plank to a kick through. So hover above the ground, just about one to two inches, curling your toes under, again, space underneath your knees, hips over knees, and now John, let's kick one leg through to the opposite side, so we're crossing under that body, return back, 
reset before you kick that opposite leg through. Your option here, you keep both hands planted on the ground and simply bring knee to the back of that wrist. We have one more exercise. Got to get back into that half kneeling position. This time we only need one can of beans. Single arm shoulder press to stand. So full body movement here. From here, press up. Hold it there, keeping that arm nice and straight. Now drive through that front heel, stand up, and then from here, you're still keeping that straight line, come back to that knee, then return back to your shoulder. So press, stand, keep it there, come back down to the ground, and then return back to your shoulder. Your option, you can grab a lighter object or you can simply work through your shoulder presses. You've got 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Eight minutes of work, let's get to it.
This tornado is guaranteed to leave you breathless. We've got five exercises, one minute of each for three total rounds. You'll have one minute of rest in between each round. Here's where it gets fun. In round number one, your transition time between exercises is 30 seconds. In round two, you'll have 45 seconds. In that final round, you're going to be a little bit more winded, so we'll give you a full minute between exercises. Ready to do it, D? Let's see what you got. Let's hit it. We got our first minute is going to be a scissor jump. So for this one, feet are going to be hip width apart. We're going to be shuffling fo forward. There we go. Really shuffling those feet, almost like we're trying to sprint, but just nice low to the ground here. An option is we can always just do a step back in place. Next up, we have one minute of a high knee raise three step. So here's how it's going to work. High knee, one, two, three, pause at the top. So you'll keep it up to hip width the entire way through pumping those arms. An option here, you can slow things down or reduce that height of the knee. Next up, we're going to need a chair. We have one minute of a hop over using the chair. Hands are going to be securely planted on the side to the seat. We're going to explode, getting those feet up in the air, hopping from side to side. An option is you can always step over and back. Next up, we're going to flip it around one minute of a bench chair dip. We're going to make sure our hands are secure behind us, stacked underneath the shoulders, feet out. We're going to make that right angle from hip down to knee, down to the heel. We're going to bring the elbow to a 90 degree bend, pressing through the triceps back to our starting position. Option here, you can always reduce your range of motion. Last but not least, we can go ahead and get rid of that chair. We're going to drop down into a high plank for a single leg raise to knee tuck. So starting in our high plank, hands stacked underneath the shoulder, feet hip width apart, belly button to spine. We're going to raise that heel off the ground nice and tall, swing that knee towards the chest, then alternate sides. An option here, that other knee can drop down to the ground and you'll switch things up. Five exercises, one minute of each, three rounds. Get ready to do some work.
I can't resist, I'm powerless, like a fly to light. From out the mist, I see a shine, you're the one for me. And I've been known to give thee to easily before. But I know I feel something I've never felt before. Then you told me, stay, don't worry, be strong, come along, be with me. It's not too late to change, don't worry, be strong, come along, be with me. I'm feeling like a
Make up your mind what you're searching for. Sticky claim is a vein. Do you see a name in lights? Make up your mind what you're searching for. Is it money? Is it something like freedom? Nothing against myself, but I can be. We've reached the cool down. For this one, you're gonna use a towel. D, you already have you yours. It. Awesome. We've got five exercises here. We're gonna start with 20 seconds of an overhead reach. As you can see, D is holding on to the widest part of her towel. The wider your towel is, the deeper these stretches are gonna be. Bringing the arms overhead, nice deep breath, shoulders nice and tall, chest tall, really working those shoulders. You got a 20 second hold here, bring it down to reset. Next up, 20 seconds per side of a side bend. In that same overhead position, nice gentle lean to our side. You're gonna feel it more in, the, in your lats and your obliques. 20 seconds to one side, 20 seconds to the other. Now we're gonna bring that towel behind us for a reverse shoulder stretch. Palms are facing back, shoulders nice and tall, raising our arms behind us. You're gonna feel that stretch in your shoulders as well as your chest on this one. 20 second hold. Next up, we have our tricep stretch. Now this one happens to be a bit more of a combination stretch. You'll feel it in the shoulders as well as the triceps. We have one arm overhead, our other arm is at the small of the back, thumbs facing each other here. A great challenge, if you have good range of motion, you can bring your hands a little bit closer together. If not, you can bring them a little bit wider. You've got 20 seconds per side here. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and put the towel down. 20 seconds per side of a wrist and forearm stretch. Starting with our fingertips down, Dee's gonna gently draw those fingers towards her for 10 seconds, then bring those fingers up towards the air. Same, pulling those fingers towards you. You've got 10 seconds in each position, then you'll switch sides. You earn this cool down, enjoy it. Never gonna be an almost 
Cause I'm too scared to fall I push it back a little When life spin me to the wall Don't wanna play it back in slow-mo Oh, think about the time gone I'm gonna climb the fence that I've been stuck I've been stuck away